Hi there, I'm Tom Malone and very much looking forward to the opening flat fixture of the season at Navin on Saturday. We go the first of the day goes to post at 10 to 2 as the Irish Stallion Farms. EBF Maiden over the minimum trip and here I quite like the chances. Number 13 on your card, Provocateurs, is prided to buy Philly from the Jessica Harrington Yard. Shane Foley on board has been pretty consistent in her first three runs and you look, you'd imagine to build on that on Saturday in the opener. Keep an eye on Resourceful Man as well. He ran really nicely uh, on debut at Dundalk when last seen. At 2.25 then we got the Navin Race Course.ie handicap over the minimum trip. I want to quite like the chances of here is Stanhope running off a mark of 67 as Siobhan Rutledge on board effectively means he's off a mark of 60 has won off marks in the 80s before. And the last time he actually ran here at Navin, he was running off a mark of 79. Loves it at Navin and Nace. Loves it at this time of the year as well. And Stanhope can oblige in the second race of the afternoon. At three o'clock, then our third race of the day, it's the follow us on Twitter handicap over 10 furlongs. And in this one, I quite like the chances of number 17 on your card, King Wasp. A third in a nursery at Nace, three runs back. On that occasion, he actually finished in front of uh, Barrettstown, who's much higher up in the handicap today. So just think that uh, with that pipe opener when last seen at Dundalk just eight days ago, King Wasp can oblige there at three o'clock on Saturday. At 3.35 then, it's the Irish Stanley Farms EBF auction maiden, 10 furlongs ahead of them uh, for this one. And it uh, looks like Kailash here has a really good chance. Master Craftsman Colt, Dermot Well trains, Ushinor on board, split a pair of decent looking Bally Doyle runners uh, when last seen at the Curra. Similar conditions. And like I say, Dermot Well's horses ran quite well on Sunday at the Curra too. So it looks like he has his string ready to go and Kailash can provide them with a winner. Henry V as well, big uh, notable one there. Johnny Murta with a Godolphin runner in that race at 3.35 on Saturday. At 10 past four then, we have the best wishes on your retirement. Peter Killeen handicap ahead of them for this one. It's a mile race and I quite like the chances here of the Jim Bulger trained breaking news. This uh, Dawn Approach filly was a winner when last seen. That was at Nace. A couple of winners have come out of that race since and uh, has run well in the past off a similar mark as well as breaking news. So obviously Jim Bulger with a winner on day one of the flat season at the Curra as well. So you expect the string to be in good order. In the 4.45 then, the racing again on Sunday, the 25th of April, Maiden. Really like the chance here of the Aidan O'Brien trained runner, HMS Seahorse. Regally bred as a full brother to Armory. Of course, uh, Group 1 placed on a couple of occasions, Armory Group 2 and 3 winner as well. And HMS Seahorse, fourth on debut. And you just love those Aidan O'Brien Galileos. They just tend to, you know, go and finish in the frame in their first Maiden and win their second one. And you expect HMS Seahorse to do just that. In the penultimate race of the day, 20 past five, then it's Division One of the Navin Members Handicap, uh, mile and five ahead of them for this one. And there's little to fault the No Mead Yard of late. They've got Crassus in this one. This guy's been pretty consistent of late, finished in the frame in a couple of uh, hurdles when last seen, and obviously Noel Mead, fresh off a uh, Cheltenham winner and the winner of the Lincoln as well. Crassus can help continue the good run of form uh, for the stable. On well, the lucky last at 10 to 6, it's Division 2 of that mile 5 uh, handicap, the Navin members handicap. Tricky looking heat, and I quite like the chances here of the Charles O'Brien trained Strange Notions, filled by High Chaparral, who's been campaigned mainly over hurdles, but the last time she was on the flat was over course and distance here at Navin. She was only beating the nose on that occasion, so perhaps she can go one better this time round in the closer on the card at Navin on Saturday.